Hello and welcome everyone to Dax Electronic Repair. Today we're going to be doing a Samsung Galaxy A32 5G broken screen on this guy. Um, I am calling it a broken screen repair because we are replacing the frame and the screen. So it's not a screen replacement. It is a frame and screen. All right, back needs to come off. Pry it off there, get some heat. It is just adhesive to the phone. Next, we have a bunch of screws. Take them all out. They're all the same. Doesn't matter where they go. Put them in a pile. And that is what you need to do next. <clears throat> So we'll speed that process up a little bit. Oh, and also don't forget to do that. That is the power button ribbon cable. I'll make sure to take it off before you may rip it out if you just take the screws out and take the frame, uh, pry the frame from the screen. I'm sorry, the, the back frame from the uh, the main frame so do it first and again use plastic to do that because we still have a live phone that still has a battery in it all right and we are almost done let's get all these screws and then we're going to pull our sim card out you gotta do that first if you don't, you will not get that back frame off of there. And just off camera, I am doing that. Believe me, that is what is happening. And there you go. You got it together. And there is your SIM card. Here's your SIM card popper. Pop it out. SIM card and SD card possibly in there. And then you are going to get that back frame off of there. It is just in there with a bunch of clips. Go ahead and pry gently wherever you can get it started. And just walk around it with a plastic spudger or pick or whatever, however you want to say it is. Sorry, my hands are a little dirty. They are not dirty, actually. They have paint on them. Because I was painting a motorcycle tank. But that's more information than you need. So, razor blade. Just to get it started, then you can get in there with a plastic pick. Or sometimes you can get lucky like that and just kind of pry it off. <clears throat> All right. So, back is off. Next, we're going to get the battery off of there. And then we cut to the new screen. We're just going to hook the new screen up. And we have to put our frame back on because remember, we have our power button ribbon cable right there. So, we can't really turn it on without. We can't test the new screen without turning it on, and therefore we have to turn it on, which the power button is part of the back frame. So that's how I decided to do it. You can also just plug it in. Sometimes that will pop it, power it back up. So new screen looks good. No dead pixels. Everything looks good on there. So then we get to take our new screen off. And go ahead and take the old phone apart to get ready for the new screen. First thing, battery. Yep, that's right. You guessed it. And you were right. All right. Ribbon cable off the new screen. Get it off of there. And we're going to go ahead and get our bottom motherboard off of there. And that's where we'll start. So both the bottom and the top are only held in with one screw at this point. It is right there. Take it out. And go ahead and 
pry the ribbon cable off of there and then pry the board up and out. It does kind of slide in at an angle, so slide it out backwards up towards the battery. Uh, there may be a little bit of adhesive keeping it sticking down. Again, I hate those little coaxial nipple connectors, whatever they are. I don't like them, so I don't unscrew them. Or I'm sorry, I don't un undo them. I just keep them as a as a unit on the top and bottom. All right, so top screw out, top camera out, forward-facing camera, and then you take the whole unit out as a as a unit. Everything else stays together. There are a couple things we will be gathering uh, from this old frame and screen assembly. First is our vibrating, our vibra vibrator motor. Motor uh, that was stuck down a little bit. So a little bit of heat and a little bit of prying will convince it to not be there anymore. The other part we're going to be taking is this top um, speaker. I believe that is, yes, that's the top speaker, uh, ear, ear piece speaker. Be careful with this one. You do need that. It is connected to that bottom by a very um, small ribbon cable. So careful when you're prying it out. Apply it plenty of heat. And the final thing we'll be taking from this old phone, is, old phone assembly is the battery. Take your time. Get some heat. Try not to bend it as much as you can. Try not to puncture. Do not puncture, bend, burn, stab, any of those things. Lithium batteries are nasty when they are subjected to abuse. All right, here's our new screen and frame assembly. And we're going to do exactly the opposite of what we just did to the old one. I'm going to put that in. Nope. Psych. Psych your mind. Because we have to put in our vibrator motor, vibration motor, and earpiece speaker first before we can do that. So a little bit of double-sided tape goes down. where the vibration motor goes. And then you just stick that puppy in there. That's all you need. And then also put your speaker up in there. This one had adhesive on it. It did not need to be replaced. And now Get that. Get it out of there. Get. Oh, nope. Yep. Yes. Good. Then you can put your main motherboard in and your daughter board in. We will route the wires. Uh, I want to say the, yes, the blue is skinnier than the white, so it actually routes down underneath in the channel so it's, it's flush so make sure to do it in that order all right we will make that look prettier more pretty rather after we get some more assembly going on all right bottom ribbon cable <clears throat> And our one screw for the top motherboard. And our one screw for the bottom motherboard. Daughter board, rather. And 
we are ready to test fit the battery. And again, <clears throat> I like to go ahead and do another test on the screen just to make sure nothing happened in the very short amount of time that it went from the old one to the new one. That's just me. And it is fine. but always safe rather than sorry. So <clears throat> now we are ready to permanently close this bad boy up. Now off camera, I did take the adhesive off of the battery. So it is affixed and I put that uh, front camera back in. So now all we have to do Oh, and I also put the wires back right where they needed to. So everything is hooked up properly, and we just have to put in a dozen or so screws. And get the back put on, and we should be a double okay. So let's do that. Million screws, and go. So there are a couple ways you can do repairs on these phones. You can do the screen or the screen and frame. I have actually had some comments about this recently, um, why I actually do the frame and screen assembly um, together. Uh, it just makes a better repair. It's a lot easier to switch all the components over rather than uh, just the screen itself. It just, it's easier um as far as the adhesive on the on the screens it just seems like a stronger fit so that's why i do it this way instead of just the screen in case anybody was wondering so there are all of our screws <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and put some more double-sided tape down uh the sides and uh, the top and bottom to put the back back on. Now this one was never claimed to be waterproof. I don't trust any phone that says it's waterproof. Um, and as much information and time that we put into these phones, don't ever trust that anything is waterproof. So all you gotta do, put that back on, give that puppy a wipe down and you're good. Good job, you did it. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And again, thank you for watching. I love you all.